Good afternoon everybody. We're here today to see this wonderful four slash five bedroom detached family home in New Heritage Way in North Chaley today. So I just thought I'd uh, wander you around today, give you a bit of a feel for the house and also uh, the surrounding area as well, a bit of information on the local area. So um, yeah, let's. Uh, I thought we'd just start by wandering up this little driveway. So the house is number 41, which is that one. And there's actually another couple of houses around here at the bottom here so down this little offshoot from New Heritage Way really nice quiet location around here I just thought I'd walk you up to the top here so you can sort of get your bearings a little bit more so this is sort of wrapped around the towards the end part of New Heritage Way so you would actually exit New Heritage Way down there hang around to the left there and then that gets you back on to the main road system there and across the road really from there on in you've got red house common which is um part of the um north chaley chaley common uh, and all around there so you've got endless footpaths galore uh, around here so perfect for dog walkers perfect for families you've also got this little walkway through here and you can probably see in shot now the uh, there's a children's playground here which is perfect for the little ones um, and also a little woodland trail that sort of runs around this little wooded area here which is a really nice touch within the development itself so you've got plenty of options around you from a walking point of view um, location wise to Newick is about five minutes drive and you're in the village of Newick with all its amenities and then back onto the A272, you back onto Haywards Heath, which is probably uh, a 15 minute, 10 to 15 minute drive from here. And you've got Uckfield in the other direction as well. So very close to the A272 road link. If you needed it, obviously Haywards Heath mainline train station, uh, if you needed train links to London. But this is a, a lovely quiet development of a mixture of sort of two, three, four, five bedroom houses, mixture of ages. Uh, in here as well so just a lovely lovely place to live around here so I thought I wanted you through into the house now so please do come in so you enter straight away into the hallway and then here on the right hand side you have the main downstairs cloakroom as you can see there and then the house is split left and right on the ground floor. So this is set over three floors, this house. And then this is the main living room. Patio doors leading out to the garden, which we're going to have a look at in a minute. So big room, as you can see, my client's got a fair bit of living room and furniture and fits very comfortably. And that's the window out to that little offshoot driveway leading to, um, well, road access really to those other houses and indeed this one as well. So the parking range with this house, you do have two parking spaces and a double garage as well, which we'll have a look at in a minute. So plenty of parking space, up to four cars. And then this is the main kitchen, which is very nice indeed. So you have a pantry cupboard in through there covered space you have a dishwasher in through there and a washing machine as well and a fridge freezer which is there and then that's window out to the front there so really from a vehicle you only have the cars for those dwellings there passing your windows at the front and that is it because you're tucked down um, so it is a very, very quiet location and that leads to a conservatory and out to the garden. So we'll see that in a minute. I thought we'd walk more up the floors and then come back down and see that area as well. There's a useful understairs cupboard there that wraps itself around the stairs there. So it's a good size. So come on up. Spacious landings up here. It's a good wide staircase coming up here. And then to the right here is the main master bedroom. 
So good size, really good size actually. And that orientates out to the rear garden. And then there is an ensuite bathroom here as well. So obviously toilet hand basin and a large walk-in shower. So great master. And then the family bathroom is next door. So again, bath and shower over. So shower in the ensuite, bath in the family bathroom. And then this is probably bedroom five or a study. I think more realistically, probably an office space, a study space, as my clients have it kitted out here. It is the smallest room if you're classing it as a bedroom. But I think if you don't need five bedrooms, then I think this certainly would serve very well as a home office and that growing need for a home sort of office. That's just a, a general cupboard in through there. And then this is the other bedroom on this floor. Again, like the main master orientates to the rear garden. But you can probably sense as you're sort of wandering around, it's a very quiet location. So we'll go up to the top floor now. So again, I think this, this floor actually has quite a lot of versatility to it. You could use this how you really saw your living arrangements. So up here currently, my client has two large double bedrooms up here. As you can see a good ceiling height up here. So you've got a, a window that's orientating actually to the front there and then a Velux out to the back garden, but really good size double. And then you've got this sort of landing space here, which again could be also a, a sort of home office study area as well, quite easily, or indeed potentially, potentially an ensuite bathroom, because you are actually above the main bathroom downstairs on the lower floor underneath us here. So this could actually become, you could take the plumbing from underneath pull it up and then create an ensuite to one of these bedrooms. So that could be a future plan if so desired. So again, double bedroom up here, really high ceilings. Bear in mind we're in the top floor here. There is loft, little loft space up there. But actually what struck me when I came up here the first time is very much the height of this top floor of the ceilings, it really is a is a great floor because normally sometimes you get up into the top floor and it is a bit cramped, certainly not here. And actually the amount of Velux windows that you see as well, lots and lots of light coming in here. This is a very light house with all these windows that you see around. So I think quite a lot of versatility that could happen with this house and how you might want to live. You could always create that ensuite on the top floor and have that as a, a main master sort of suite on the top floor if you wanted to, perhaps as one of the uh, bedrooms at the top becoming a dressing room. Completely up to you how you would want this house to be configured to suit your needs, really. So back into the kitchen, you can see my clients have got a dining room table here. There is space indeed for that in the kitchen. And then through into the conservatory. So the conservatory has heating, which you'll see on that wall there. So it is really an all year round room. Great space. So you've got a door leading onto the side there and then a sliding door leading out onto this patio here as well. So very versatile, that could be a, a playroom, could be a, a little snug if you wanted to too. So there's definitely various ways you could use that conservatory. So there is side access around that side. That's really just for bins and, and storage here. And then this is the garden, which is very pleasant indeed. And as you can again, hopefully sense it is very, very quiet indeed. So that is the double garage belonging to this property. Um, 
side access through into there and then you've got the double up and over doors at the front space inside for two cars you've got power and light in there and you can see the pitch of the roof there so there is actually a huge amount more that you could do with that space that could become an annex potentially could become a studio again a larger home office potentially um, there is certainly space to create a top floor there obviously subject to planning but um, yeah, lots and lots of potential with how that garage might actually work or just simply as car storage as my clients have it. Um, two large cars can be kept in there. So really parking for four cars. Uh, if you wanted to utilize the garage as the parking, just storage alone or indeed something more. So that concludes the tour. I hope that's been useful. The house is on the market with myself, Jonathan, at the Agency UK. If that does look of interest, please do let me know. I can be reached on 07876 256 896. That's 07876 256 896. Thank you for watching.